Derek Osei Kufo Prempe, popularly called Kofi Jama, is a Ghanaian musician from Kumasi. He is best known for his hit song, Air Koso. Yo, what's up guys? This is your boy Kofi Jamal and I'm live on the 50 questions. I'm answering them for you on the PAVE Network. Let's get it. This is 50 questions on the PAVE Network, a show where your favourite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the PAVE Studios for the guest of the day. So this first question, which genre are you really into? Well, I see myself as multi genered and I don't stick to just one genre. So what's the inspiration behind Holy Water and Surrender? Well, the, the uh, Appetite for Destruction EP had a team. Uh, the first team is like a hip hop and the, like the second one is also uh, like the Afro beats, that nature, natural vibes, taking it back to Africa. So I got that inspiration to make that kind of sound, that distinct African sound, and that you can see it evident in that song, Holy Water and Surrender. Said, so, do you believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God. And you know, God is like this, at the center of whatever I do. Life revolves around God, but my perception of God might differ from what a Christian might think or what every other religion might think, but I believe in God. What's your biggest in, biggest inspiration? Well, my biggest inspiration remains life. Are you dating Sefa GH or someone else? No, nah, I'm not dating Sefa. Sefa is like my sister. Yonkin, where do you see yourself and your music in the next five years? And also, which international act would you like, love to col collaborate with? Okay, as in the next five years, uh, I want to be uh, to be playing a bigger part in the world stage, rapping from the motherland, you know. Just take us through your creative process. Well, mine is sort of like always based on vibe and the energy. So before I write a song, I love, I love to vibe out. I can't write a song by just sitting there. Mostly, I just if I hear instrumental, I just have to vibe the energy. I have to stand up, go here, move here, move here and there, and just vibe out. And I'll just think about what uh, the intention behind the song, what I want the song to do. Is it a song that's going to be played in the club? Is it a song that's going to be played in the at the funeral? Is it a song that's going to be used for wedding? It's just, the, it's just that mood, so I'll just have to fit in that mood. If it's a wedding, I have to feel like I'm at a wedding reception and this song is playing. So how should it let people feel? So I put myself in the shoes of people around, the listeners who are going to be listening to the song. And I try to take things from their angle and also combine every experience that I've, I have already. So it's like that and also the vibe. So if you wasn't an artist, what would you be doing today? Personally, I would have been doing a lot of stuff on history and metaphysical sciences and also, um, I think, political science also. Yep, yep. What do you wish people knew you for? How I made them feel, the impact. I don't know if it's... But I want to, I want to leave a, a good impression with my music. I want, to, I want people to know me for my music. Yeah, and I'm still on course with that. Are you having someone who styles you? I mean, your dressing. Yeah, for video shoots, I have stylists, and sometimes I style myself also. So, yeah, it, go, it goes both ways. To be honest, do you still like your song, Ecoso, or are, are you starting to find it annoying? Well, the funny thing is, most I find I find most I I can listen to mo most of my songs because I feel like I do it for the people. I don't like listening to my songs a lot. I don't know why. Maybe it's just, it's just because of it's me, I don't know. What inspired your me G song? I just did it to motivate my Gs out there, those who are keeping, keeping it 100 in whatever they do. How will you motivate a young and upcoming artist? I'd say first of all, you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in what you're doing, nobody else will. 
that's one thing. When are you dropping your album? You have two successful EPs so far. Hopefully, I'm saying next year, yeah, by next year, we will be getting an album by next year, hopefully. So, yeah, let's let's see. When are you collaborating with Patapa? Yeah. And that's all. Who inspires you in the industry? Um, a lot of people. I draw inspiration from a lot of people. That's I think that's one of the reasons why why uh, was one of the reasons why I'm not like boxed in just one area. I listen to everybody and yeah, from Obra Four, Lord Kenya, Reggie Rockstone, Kwade, um, Kujuenchi, Amachi Dede, Daddy Lumba. That's a big jam now. A lot of people. So I can't just pick just a single one. Sako there, I can wear them, Floking Stone, or Chame Kwame. You can mention all of them. Kufi Kenata also. Dark on Vibes. Yeah. Did you know a Kosu would be the monster hit it is? Well, from the start, I felt it would it would go. Like it would people would love it. That's how I felt at first. I knew my people were going to love it. Because that's I did it for them, particularly. I did a song for them, my people back in America. So I didn't, I didn't expect it to be this huge at first, but yo, it exceeded my expectations, for real. When are you doing another collab with Calligraph? Yeah, it's in the works. S soon enough. Your top five best rappers. Um, I don't know if it's the world, I'll say uh, Tupac, Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar, Absol, then I'll add Sarko there to it. What motivates you to wake up every day in the morning? Me, For me personally, any, any new day is like a chance for me to know more, see more, and discover myself more. So I'm always happy. I'm always looking forward to that. In Bantama, where were you living? My house number was B A seventy. Yeah, Ubuhu. Dabo, what's your biggest fear when it comes in the industry? All right. Um, one of my biggest fears is like staying stagnant, like not being able to move, develop my craft to a certain level. Not being able to move forward with my craft. What are your top four favorite songs of your own? And what are the the two songs of yours you don't really like. Uh, well, one is uh, Roll On. The top four songs that are of my own that I like. One is Roll On. One is Midday Up with Stone Boy. And I'll add Surrender with Tenny. It's one, yeah, one, one of my favorite now. And also I'll add, well, I'll add um, Champion Sound. That's like a freestyle series. From one to three, you have to listen to all, all of them, Charlie. It's, it's personal, but it's not commercial, so people don't know it that much. So check it out. And what are the two songs of yours you don't really like? Well, I think those were demos back then. I love all my songs. Although I don't listen to it that much, but I love them all. That bro, how do you see the Ghana music industry? Is it lucrative or you gotta have a side hustle? Because you can't depend on the music business alone. It's, it's quite tough, you know? It's quite tough. But I would advise if you had a side hustle. Because, you know, in all, we are, we are searching for money. And if you have money, if you have enough, you, 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 you will be at peace to record your songs. It will give you that... Uh, I don't know how to put it, but it, give you, it will give you that freedom to do plenty things of your choice. So, yeah, aside money, aside music, you have to get money. So, that one there, yeah, hard. But the music industry pays, it pays though. I wouldn't like tell you that it doesn't pay, but it pays. But, Charlie, you cry, you cry, so to go into for real. Okay, J. Cause I'll take this question from J. Cause. Say, how are you doing? Like, 
mentally have things changed for you massively since the course became a hit yeah a lot of things changed for me since that time and i'm still adapting to the changes you know but i'm actually doing good mentally i'm doing i'm in a better place yeah okay so J Cos again. What inspired you for each and every song on your EP? Appetite for Distraction. Talk us through the story, creative pro process of the six tracks. Well, you have a team of uh, the, the main songs on uh, the Appetite for Distraction is a blend of hip hop and Afrobeat, and the, 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 they have the, the team. The team colors are uh, purple jam and neon green. And the purple jam uh, relates to the hip hop version. That's the first three tracks. What I mean, Ballin' and BAG, those are kind of like hip hop oriented. And that color also have a correspondence with hip hop. It's a male energy, energetic color. And also, um, it stands for bravery, confidence, royalty that uh, purple jam and also the other part is also the neon green that's the afro beat part and the neon green also stands for nature reminds you of africa and this our sound you know and the move is like those kind of songs get you to move like uh, the afro beat type of song so it's based on that concept that purple green, uh, purple green and neon jam, uh, uh, purple jam and neon green, neon green. Sorry. So the last said, say what's something you want to learn or wish you were better at? I'll say uh, to learn the piano and the guitar. That would make me uh, get like go to a wide range with my art. Yeah, that would help me much more. And also. Uh, uh, your favorite sneaker brand? Okay, Nikes, I'll say. Yeah. Um, Chief, say, do you own your masters? Uh, nah, I don't own my masters. It's for now. It's in the process of uh, going out there. But it's gonna circulate and come back when it's time. So, yeah, that's the plan. Yo, so this is your boy Kofi Jamal, and it's been my time on the 50 questions on the Pave Network. Charlie, basically subscribe across all platforms to the Pave Network, Charlie. Let's catch up. You know what's up. Real vibes. <laughs>